They told us mathematics began in Greece. But the truth was buried deep in Africa, long before any temple or scroll. Over 20,000 years ago, near the headwaters of the Nile, in what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo, someone carved strange marks on a dark bone. Each line was a record of days, of seasons, of the moon. When scientists found it thousands of years later, they realized the markings formed clear patterns and even prime numbers like 11, 13, 17, and 19. That small object, now called the Ishengo bone, became the world's oldest mathematical artifact, proof that the first humans to think in numbers lived in Africa. Centuries later, along the Nile Valley, the ancient Egyptians turned numbers into an art. They used geometry to measure their flooded lands and to build pyramids with near-perfect precision. In scrolls like the Rand Mathematical Papyrus, they wrote down equations, fractions, and algebraic problems long before Greece or Rome ever existed. And while Egypt was mastering geometry, other parts of Africa were shaping their own systems. The Yoruba of Nigeria built a base 20 counting system that rivaled modern logic. In Ethiopia, the Geyes numerals became one of the world's oldest written number systems still used today. Even the great Greek thinkers, Pythagoras and Plato, traveled south to study in Egyptian temples, learning from African priests who had already mastered what the world would later call Greek mathematics. Before the marble statues and scrolls, before numbers had names, there was a hand in Africa carving notches into a bone, counting time, counting life. That hand belonged to the world's first mathematician, 